Hello everyone out there within the YouTube universe, especially all my heartthrobs out there. I formally welcome all of you to the initial episode of the Heartthrob Hassan Rob Show. Thank you everybody for tuning in. This first show is going to be very intriguing and very interesting. We are mainly going to focus on my backstory and how I became Heartthrob Hanson Rob. I'm also known as Motor City Mink Detroit's Flyers. The infamous one, the 21st century pimp. The persona in which I served a 13 year term of imprisonment. <clears throat> My full name is Robert Charles Daniels. I was born August 7, 1979 in Detroit, Michigan with my fraternal twin brother, Roderick. We had a wonderful upbringing. I truly envy our childhood. It was, it was like we were rich without being rich. You know what I mean? At a very young age, I always had, I always have been fascinated with the opposite sex. Women, man, women are my only vice. I love sex. I love the outcome of sex, the feeling, just everything about it. Nothing in life is better. It was only natural. For someone like myself to end up within the profession of ill fame. My original pimp name was Twin T. I selected the name in recognition of my twin status and my most preferred form, form of currency and the most popular form of currency. My ladies made $20 every five minutes. That's $120 every 30 minutes. $240 every hour that they indulged in the act of prostitution. While operating within Las Vegas, Nevada, I came across a business card with the pimp name Memphis Mink on it. I thought that the name was fly and very appropriate for my style and how accordingly it would be for my name. I thought to myself on what I should call myself. So I came up with Detroit Mink. <clears throat> However, that name was too close to my pimp partner, Detroit Slim. So I thought about calling myself Michigan Mink. That too just did not work for me. It didn't roll off the tongue. So I thought about calling, you know, calling myself Motown Mink. That too was not it. It just didn't fit. So I thought to myself, what is another name for the city? And that's when it hit me, Motor City Me. Yes, that is it, Motor City Me. That was the name. Now that rolled off the tongue. Motor City Me, Detroit's flyer. After, after this, after this, things really started to take off for me. I opened up the escort service, the Motor City Beauties escort service. My first mistake that led to my 35 year sentence here within the Eastern District of Michigan. And my six year, six month sentence within the Southern District of Florida that ran consecutively to the 420 months out of Michigan 
all together I was sentenced to 498 months. Everybody, that's 41 years, six months between both districts. I was devastated, y'all. Devastated. I was convicted. Found guilty of all charges in the Eastern District of Michigan case. Just since the me to 420 months. That's 35 years. And then... They prosecuted me down in Miami, Florida because they were upset that I went to trial in Michigan. So they took me, I went to prison in 2009. Stayed there, you know, tried to adapt to this very violent place. I'm telling you, very violent. It's USP Pollock. One of the most violent institutions in the federal system. Mm. From there, a year later, I went down to Miami, Florida, and I stood trial in Florida. It's just a one day trial in Florida. The Michigan trial, I believe, it was about a month and a half, almost a month trial. That's what I believe it was about a month. The trial in Florida was just one day, it was a one day trial. However, in Florida, that's where the domino effect started. I was found not guilty of the most serious offense in the Southern District of Florida. However, I was found guilty of counts one and three. I was acquitted of count two, the most serious of those offenses. Yeah. The judge was upset. Mm, sentenced me three months later to six years, six months in Florida. <clears throat> he wanted to give me another 20 years, but I learned the law and I ex post facto. And my argument was, you, could, you cannot sentence me under the new law. You had to sentence me under the law at the time of the punishment, the punishment time, which was 2003, 2004, not 2010 new laws, where you, you sentenced 10 to life and things of that nature. Had I been sentenced under the new law, I probably would have received another 20 years, added on to the 35 years sentence. And yeah, it was really rough on me, you know. I was kept the faith though, kept the faith. We'll talk more about it in the next show. So this will be to be continued. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this show. This is Heartthrob, Handsome Rob. And I'm signing out for now. To be continued. Stay tuned. We're going to continue this story. I tell you everything about the whole situation.